Right, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, it's Craig again with uh, update 2 on the uh, Meng Whippet. Um, as you can see obviously this was the last part we left it at on the instructions which we started saying we would do let's pull that to one side a second on the instructions we started on part 7 so we've built all the we've built all the all the return rollers and all the small wheels, larger wheels, the return idler and the sprocket. That's all built. We've taken off. Um, we've got all this done. All the wheels put on, and there's little instructions at the bottom there giving you the the layout of the wheels. So we've done that. I haven't glued them together yet. And you'll see why in a second. I've done both sides exactly the same. I haven't added this piece yet. I was going to add that once I've got the uh, the, the tracks onto the uh, onto the main hull. So we've done that. We've done that. This is all. This is the right side, left side, and then it's when it's all together, we're starting to attach it on page 14. So I've got to page 14 as such, but I shall show you why I haven't put them together yet. So let me show you what I've done. I'll have to bring them in individually because they're in my little spray booth. So what I've done, I shall just bring, I've basically sprayed them all inside the uh, AK black primer underneath, everywhere on the wheels. They're all done because, so that's the one side, and the same on this side of the, uh, inside of the Sponson there, all around in there. Not so much in the well, the most of the inside, but I haven't done in this part here because you're not going to see inside there. But when you put the wheels together, which way are we going? That's the way. When you eventually get them together, I think that's the one. Let's just see. That was the right one, I think. Right, that's the right one. All right. Let's get everything lined up. Because when you do the, it's not so much about the inside. It's basically this part really oh sorry the, way. the wheels you're never going to see anyhow because the tracks are going to cover them at the bottom and you're never going to see them I'll paint them black but I'll paint them another colour as well but that's not so much really this part here it doesn't really need to be sprayed um, black but I thought I'd do because if you look up if you look do look up the sides the actual sides you can see a big piece of uh, light coloured plastic and it'll look a bit daft so I think I've got the right sides. No, I haven't. I think that's the right side for that. They should line up like so, like so. Obviously, you've got all the wheels to make sure they're all lined up at the bottom. Obviously, I've got the uh, small the sprocket and the turn roller and the small rollers to go along the top there. If you can obviously mark it already, my big fat fingers and things at the top is the return rollers which go in there. So they all have to be put in and say obviously both sides. So I'll just pop that out of the way for now. I've sprayed. These are the top of the sponsons. There's, there's, if you can see the pin marks on the top there, they face upwards. This might sound silly, they face upwards and the good side faces because these are actually covered with the tracks, so you're never going to see the pin the pin marks. There's no real, there was no real point in filling them in because you're never going to see them. So they're all they're they're all primed. Uh, rockets, exhausts, 
and return roller are all primed in the black again and then one of the exhausts and the sprocket I'm just leaving these to dry a bit longer before I attempt to put anything together I might leave until later on this evening so we've got that they're all done. The build itself is a, is a fairly straightforward build there's nothing you know, really difficult to do it's just sometimes a bit, a bit of a few fiddly things that you have to do more than difficult like a sponsor putting these together will be quite difficult you have to line all the wheels of top and bottom that's one of the probably the major things is going to be a problem but I carried on well, let's move these off out of the way again these space in A's a premium at the moment so so we have skipped the page I haven't done 14 so I skipped ahead and I did the tracks I've got them together, all cleaned off and all together. Um, they're all primed. Here we are. They're all primed. That's, uh, that's the top, obviously. And the bottom. I can see them needing a little touch of glue. But generally speaking, they have clicked together quite well and held the shape. So, so that's just got the black primer on. The next thing to do with them will be the uh, dipping washers I normally do. Uh, so to get that brown tinge, and then I'll go from there. Straighten they all, they all straighten up. They're just yeah. So so this is just just a little. They just could do it a little bit more, you know. So the snap and click. They do snap and click, but they're not quite. It's not quite there if you know what I mean. So, but when I do them, actually onto the. Uh, sprockets eventually I'm gonna to have to probably touch a little view with some glue I would think but these are one of the last things we've actually gone on the uh, on the whippet itself because these have already weathered whatever before I put them on I think I'll see I'm not quite sure yet but they're also seen there I've done all the little return rollers they're all painted black that's the part that goes on the side of the sponsor and there's four they're all cleaned up and ready to be sprayed but I thought I'd spray them after I uh, put them on As you know, the machine guns are all done up. So we, we're basically getting there. We've, after we've got the, the, the actual sponsors together, we've only got to basically put the tools on and the... Uh, I don't know what they are, I can't remember, I can't remember what they're called. Top of my head. Top of my head. No, it's gone. Grousers. Grousers, I think they are. I think they're a wooden grouser. This part, um, this part's wood, and these parts are metal. So I'll, I'll, I'll undercoat them black first again, I think, as the base, and we'll work on them. And same with the uh, only a couple of tools, a wrench and a starter around the looks of it. They're painted black as well. Uh, and we'll work on them, weathering them up, and getting them looking metallic or a bit of metallic with pencil or um, powder. And then all the grouses that go onto the front of the tank. We have there. There's a there we are, where are we at? There we are, that one there. On the front, a bit of an extra bit of party on the rear, isn't it? It's not the front. Um, so they are off to be painted black and there's a base coat as well. And I will work on them with the wood and the steel finish. And basically then he's putting the grouse grouses on the side as well. Here on the side, and the last thing to put on is the two ropes, one each side. Put the string for that, and then that's the actual that's the actual um, construction complete. Then, uh, and then we'll be onto the painting of the uh, the whippet. So what we'll do now is we'll work away. I shall work away from page the start of putting the tracks together, the uh, sponsors together, get all that together. Um, I'll leave, I'll weather the tracks separately, but I won't put them on, I don't think, at the moment. Um, we'll do the grousers, I think they're called grousers, maybe not 100% sure, we'll get them primed up as well. Um, basically finish the construction apart from the odd, odd bits that need to go on like the tools and the grousers and all that and then I'll get back to you so 
it's a, it's, a, it's a nice simple build. I say I haven't rushed. It's took me taking my time. So the tracks are they're not that bad. You know, there's just if they click just a little bit more. But, uh, they're uh, they're a uh, they're a nice looking track. I must admit. Yeah, you know, look like like look can do. You know, typical World War One tracks. There's uh, just the rivets holding them all together. There's nothing else on them. So I shall pop them out of the way before I damage them. So what I'll do is I'll concentrate now. I'll leave the paint to dry first before I do anything else. Um, I was thinking of building the KV2 as a sort of a, a side product at the moment while I'm waiting for things to dry. So I may, I may do that, I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, so that's me beginning to waffle again now. So we'll leave this as update 2. We'll uh, come, sorry, we'll, this is the end of update 2. This is the beginning of update 2. So we'll build the, whip it up until the uh, everything's put put on, apart from the tools and the, the browsers, and then we'll get back to you. So this is Greg signing off, and we'll catch you very very soon. Right back again. Let's have a gander. So we started off and said we were going to do number eight, which is the right, left side, uh, all the way through. You know, putting the wheels on, putting the return rollers, the uh, mud, mud catchers, whatever you want to call them. And then we do the light side, the same thing again. And again, we've done it up to there, so we're actually up to there at the moment. The only things I haven't put on is these very, very small hooks for the uh, tow cables. Talking about tow, tow cables, I use the kit provided ones. This is the string and the eyes, they're just painted black at the moment so it went quite easy so they're ready to be uh, weathered and make it look a bit more like steel a bit of rust a bit of this that and the other so that's one of the last things that goes on so we're up to here um, yeah, I've, I've actually put these two sides together but I say I haven't done the I haven't put the exhaust pipes on, they're still in the same state as they were. Uh, I've got an idea of watching somebody else's. Uh, let me just put a better light on them. That seems to be a bit dull, doesn't it? Let's have a look. Right. And these are just the exhausts, which I'm going to hollow out even more than that. I want to take a little bit more out of that. That'll probably be my next job. It's just. Let's see if it can. It has got a bit in it, but I'm just going to so it take a bit more out of it. I think, just so it uh, it doesn't show that black part in the middle. Let me go a bit too far, but I'll try it. I may as well. So that's on both exhausts. Um, I've primed the tracks in NATO black. Uh, sorry, in AK uh, black primer. So they're all primed. So the next job for them again is my um, dipping wash, which is the Vallejo dipping wash, which is this one here, which is the Lavado Serpia uh, Senior. I can't even see it now. Sienna Shade, and it's number. 72300. I think they're about eight quid, but they last forever in the day. I've had this for you know over a year and I've only used that little bit. So that'll be uh, going onto the tracks as well. So I'll put, I'll put that bit to the side for now and put the instructions away for now. And we'll bring in a little whippet. Let me just put this behind there. Okay. So here she is, or he, or whatever you want to call her. Let me just bring it back a little bit. So you can see where I've actually gone inside, and it's worked out quite well. I've primed there, so you can't see any, you know, dark uh, light bits. And same on the other side, obviously, as well. And I've primed the back of that as well. There was no need to prime it, but I thought, well, black paint's out, it's there. Went together, this was the most fiddliest bit, but in the end it went together quite well. If you follow the instructions and do what the instructions say, then it does go together quite well. 
you know, these clip, there's no glue on these, these are all workable. These are still workable and so is the the, uh, the uh, drive sprocket as well. So I've actually put the little pieces on, on the um, like track tension as I would have thought they would be on each side, on both sides, one on the inside, one on the out. So we've got all the little holes there. You can make them out. That's for them little uh, them little hooks for the tow cable. There's quite a few to go on. I think there's two, four, six, eight. There's eight eight to go on each side. I haven't done the machine guns yet. They're still as they were because normally I'd have knocked them off by now. Um, underside again. You know, looks a bit better when the prams. There's a few marks on there, but oof, I see it there. When it gets its first, when it gets its primer coat on again, it'll be fine. So uh, quite a nice little build. A simple, a simple little build, really. You know, there wasn't there isn't that great deal to it. The hardest part is probably the uh, driver's uh, driver's hatch, just a driver's hatch, driver's compartment. Having to bend it in all the different shapes, all the irregular shapes and things, but generally speaking, it goes together really well. I see, you can see I've used a little bit of uh, Vallejo putty, but there was neither there. There was little gaps. You couldn't even see through them. Probably the paint would have covered them over, but I thought, well, I may as well give them a little go. So that's where we are with that at the moment. So what we're going to do now is going to be using. Well, I'm going to. This is the end of episode two, so next episode we'll start with the painting. So what I'm going to use for the primer is the AK primer, which I, you can use straight from the bottle if you really want to. Well, I can anyhow, with my little cheap hairbrush. So that's going to be the base colour. And I've got this set I've had for quite a while. I ordered the wrong set a long time ago. I thought it would come in use. So I've got this set, it's actually for the Meng vehicles as well. It's the colour camouflage volume two. Sorry about the glare, there we go. You've got six colours. And on the back we have a few vehicles. Let's do it again. And there's the Whippet. The Sharpies, or Sha the long, the heavy one. Obviously we've got the Renault. And it's telling me that's Olive Drab. I don't know if I've actually never opened these yet, so. Let's see, we've got in any painting instructions? No, nothing. So we've got in association with Meng. So we have the olive drab which we'll be using, but there's all sorts of various shades of green. And I'm going to probably use where's that one I've seen, which is it? British khaki I'll be using as well, probably with the two, combine the two together. British khaki, which is. That's khaki green and the olive drab. That's the two I'll probably be using. And maybe British khaki actually. Olive drab. We'll probably use three colours, I would have thought, out of it. So, but that's uh, not yet. That'll be when I've actually primed the thing and uh, left it for a, a good day, a good day, a good 15, 16 hours, whatever. So I might, I might start even do the KV2 as a little side project where that's uh, when it's drying. So, so far so good. So it's a nice little build. As I've said, it's uh, I think 23, 24 quid eBay. Certainly worth it. So my first little foray into the world of uh, World War One, and I've been picking, getting some pictures. Um, off the internet, the of the little uh, weapon in certain situations. So I've got myself this old, oh, oh, there, this old chalk board. I saw John Moore. I said pound land pound, obviously, and they've got the, the sponge which is the we use because we can use that for uh, sponge chipping. So I've, I've masked all this off. This is all masked off at the moment. So I do have an idea of what I actually want to do. I've got a few pictures. I haven't completely made my mind up yet, but that's all. It's only going to be that big. It's uh, not going to be massive. Um, I'm going to try a few different things. Well, when I get to do it, we'll go through it as I'm doing it. But I haven't fully decided on which picture I want to do yet. So that's uh, to be thought of. So I'll call this the um, end of update two, and we'll start up with update three. I'll be primed, and then we'll decide on the colours. Oh, 
decide on uh, how we're going to approach doing the uh, the colour and a mixture of the three paints, more like a modulation type thing. Uh, but still, probably will probably still do. Um, I don't know if it's worth doing the white if I'm going to use three different colours. Mm, I'm not too sure. You know the the shadow coat and the light coat and things like that. I may do still keep it. I'm not too sure. We'll see how we go. So all right, that's me waffling on. So end of part two. We'll see you soon with the beginning of part three.